Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and welcome to you all, saints of God, and good morning to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the I am that I am, almighty God. Once again, it's Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries and Time Revival Prayer City. May the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning, saints of God. I welcome you to join us now and to connect with us now for our global morning glory word and prayer encounter hour. May the Lord bless you as you join us right now. Please, when you get the links, forward the links, share the links, subscribe our YouTube channel, share and share and share and invite family and friends and loved ones to join us now in this encounter and i believe that god has a word for you this morning and god will speak into your life in the name of the lord jesus the lord bless you all as you join us right now in jesus mighty name hallelujah praise be to god forevermore let's have a word of prayer father in the name of jesus to you be praise honor and glory we ascribe all glory and honor and praise to your holy name for your goodness and your mercy that you have bestowed upon our lives thank you this morning father that you have given us abundant life in christ jesus and this morning we partake of life and godliness in you i decree this morning that as your word comes for father by your grace let yokes be broken let burdens be lifted let your people be emancipated and let your people be revived exalted and transformed to their place of higher heights in christ jesus i decree that holy spirit you move ahead of this encounter manifest your glory and your power speak to us lord and bless us this morning through this encounter in jesus mighty name i pray with thanksgiving and let the saints of god shout amen praise be to god forevermore saints of god the lord bless you all this morning for connecting with us May you share the links, share the links, share the videos, and also be a blessing to somebody by telling them to subscribe our YouTube channel and like and comment and share. May the Lord bless you as you connect with us this morning. I believe that God will speak to you this morning on this Global Morning Glory Encounter Hour. Praise be to God forevermore. This morning, by the grace of God, as I am privileged and opportune to connect with you again this morning on this encounter, it is my prayer that God will bless you. As I've been teaching on the word became flesh, the word became flesh. I believe this word is making an impact and deposit in many people's life. And it is my prayer that as you continue to follow and to uh, listen to these messages you will be blessed you will be mightily be favored and you will be mightily be touched in the name of jesus so please endeavor also to tell your friends and families to listen to these messages and i believe that these messages will all bless us and empower us in jesus mighty name amen so the word becoming flesh today i'm going to be talking about one of the reasons why the word became flesh the word became flesh so that redemption will be manifested upon our lives the word became flesh so that we will have redemption it is at the place when the word became flesh when jesus was born that we were redeemed from the hands of the evil one from the hands of the enemy when the word became flesh we were translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light when the word became flesh god through the word becoming flesh through Jesus Christ's birth, we were taken out of the hands of the enemy and we were translated spiritually into the kingdom of God. And I pray and prophesy over your life this morning that you have been translated from the kingdom of uh, death into the kingdom of life you have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of life you have been translated from the kingdom of wickedness into the kingdom of hope and i decree over your life that in this season uh, the glory of god has come upon you through redemption the peace of god has come unto you through redemption the power of god has come to you through redemption the grace of god has come to you through redemption the glory of god has come to you through redemption the the grace of God has come through to you by redemption of his manifestation in the name of Jesus. Receive this grace now. Receive this grace now in the name of the Lord Jesus. So this morning, our scripture, which will also be our scripture for the day, is found in the book of Luke, in the book of St. Luke Gospel, chapter number one, the verse number 68. Let's hear the word of the living God. The Bible says that 
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. The Bible says, he said, Blessed be the God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So you see, the Lord God there means that Jesus was the Lord made flesh. And the God there means the God Almighty, the Father. So the Bible says that blessed be the Lord God. Blessed be Jesus who was in the flesh. And God the Father, his Father of Israel who have visited us and redeemed his people so by his by his birth we were visited by the lord god almighty the lord god almighty himself came in the form of his son came as the word becoming flesh through the birth of jesus and the lord god visited us and redeemed us so it was through the birth of jesus that we were redeemed when jesus was born he came amongst men he dwelt with us and we saw the glory of the lord in our in our midst his his visitation and his birth brought us redemption and i pray in the name of jesus that you have not been you have not been held anymore by the works of the enemy you have not been been bound by the enemy anymore but through the birth of jesus you were redeemed from the hands of the devil you were redeemed from the hands of satan and i speak over your life that in this city in this season everything that has bound your life everything that has brought you to the place of bondage to the place of captivity may you be redeemed from it by the birth of jesus by the power of the word becoming flesh may you be redeemed now in the name of jesus in the captivity that you find yourself in uh, i decree over your life that you are be redeemed by the blood by the by the birth of jesus so it was through his birth when he was born he visited us his, his birth brought us divine visitation. His birth, the birth of Jesus, uh, brought us divine visitation. And that divine visitation uh, gave us redemption. We were redeemed. Hallelujah. We were redeemed from the hands of the devil. We were redeemed from the kingdom of darkness. We were redeemed from poverty. We were redeemed from curses. We were redeemed from the works of the enemy. We were redeemed from bondage and captivity and slavery of the enemy. And you and I, we are no more in bondage. We are no more in captivity. We are no more under curses. We are no more under the works of the enemy. We are no more under the manipulation of the enemy. We are redeemed by the power of the word becoming flesh hallelujah so the bible says that blessed be the lord god of israel who have visited us and redeemed his people he redeemed us through his birth our redemption came through his birth our redemption came through the word becoming flesh jesus be manifested in the flesh gave us redemption and the works of the enemy was broken and destroyed and i decree over your life that in this season every works of the enemy program against your life program against your finances program against your health program against your family program against your dreams program against your aspiration program against your purpose and destiny is broken by the power of his visitation is destroyed by the power of his birth in this season as we celebrate the, the, the birth of Jesus, I came to declare to you uh, that every bondage, every captivity, every hold of the enemy against your life and destiny is broken in the name of Jesus. Receive redemption now. Receive freedom now. Receive redemption now. You are free from the hands of the enemy. You are free from the bondage of the enemy. You are free from 
financial difficulties you are free from hardship you are free from cases you are free from the hold of the powers of your father's house and your mother's house anything that has held you captive anything that has delayed your harvest by his birth redemption came to us and you have been redeemed you have been redeemed uh, uh, to advance you have been redeemed uh, to progress you have been redeemed uh, uh, to, to to be lifted you have been redeemed uh, to be favored in the name of jesus uh, i decree the redemption of the lord over your life i re- i decree the redemption power of the lord over your life in the name of jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now somebody in the name of jesus lift up your voice and begin to pray say with me in the name of jesus heavenly father by the power of the holy spirit uh, through the birth of jesus through the word becoming flesh i have been redeemed uh, from the works of the enemy i have been redeemed from curses i have been redeemed from sickness i have been redeemed from diseases i have been redeemed from hardship i have been redeemed from the hold of the enemy i have been redeemed from every power of poverty i have been redeemed from every works and activities of the kingdom of darkness in the name of jesus right now i superimpose and enforce uh, the redemptive power of the grace of Jesus' birth over my life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Madakataya Namazua, Lepakataya Rabaha, Raskita Bele Anto Shabaha, Mikata Yida Basundere, Mazeda Baandos Kabaha, Riakato Shabaha, Ikata Lamaziataya, Madele Bekatoa, Miraskata, Miraskata, Madila Bakasuke Periakatoa. I have been redeemed by the word becoming flesh. I have been redeemed through the birth of Jesus. It is through the birth of Jesus that I receive my redemption. I receive my wholeness in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray for your redemption has come. Your redemption is now. Your redemption is now. Your season of freedom is now. Your season of liberation is now. God has visited us through the birth of Jesus, through the power of the word becoming flesh in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. People of God, know that through the birth of Jesus, through the word becoming flesh, redemption by manifestation was initiated upon our lives. And I speak over your life that you and I, we have received the power of redemption through the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive this grace now and begin to operate in this power and in this grace in Jesus' mighty name. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. Beloved, I believe you have been blessed and I know that by your faith and by your belief and hope that you have through the birth of Jesus brought you and I redemption. You and I we have been redeemed through the power of his birth in jesus mighty name amen and amen god richly bless you hallelujah right now i want to give opportunity to you if you are saying that you find yourself in any captivity and you need the freedom and the salvation of the lord through the birth of jesus if you want to give your life to the lord jesus right now say this prayer after me say with me heavenly father This morning I come to you just as I am. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe that through the birth of Jesus, through the manifestation of Jesus, redemption was initiated over my life and destiny. And I receive redemption and eternal salvation through the manifestation of Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. Erase my name permanently from the book of death. And give me eternal salvation through the power of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for accepting me as your child and giving me the power to become your kingdom servant in Jesus' mighty name. If you have prayed this prayer, God has heard your prayer and you have become part of the kingdom of heaven through redemption by his birth. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people this morning as your word has come. That it was through redemption that manifestation occurred. I decree that by the power of the birth of Jesus, by the word becoming flesh, let it materialize in the life of your people and let the blessings that comes 
with the birth of Jesus that brought us redemption. Let it be revealed in the life of your people. Bless your people in the name of Jesus. And let them behold the power of redemption and the glory of the redemption that Christ gave us through his birth. In the name of Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless your people as your people have behold the mystery and the power of the word becoming flesh that brought us redemption. Let the blessings of God overwhelm them. Let the favor of God overwhelm them. In the name of Jesus, bless your people and let them have testimonies even in this season. I pray over their lives that your glory will manifest upon them and their families. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. If you have listened to this word, I believe that this word has brought you the hope and the redemption that you need from Christ Jesus. The Lord bless you. Shalom. Peace from God the Father. This is Pastor Samuel from House of Prayer for All Nations Ministries. End Time Revival Prayer City. May the Lord bless you and know that through the manifestation of the birth of Jesus, redemption is inevitable in our lives. And you and I, we have all things that pertains to life and godliness by redemption through his manifestation. God richly bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Stay mightily blessed until I come your way again with the global morning glory, word and prayer and counter hour. Be blessed. Shalom. Peace from God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen.